everyone. So I just realized I never recorded anything from day one. So here I am updating. I hope to record a little bit today. Today I do have work. So I read this yesterday morning, like right when I woke up. And I read it in the same place. So it, so it completes three challenges. More than five words in the title. Non-human main character. And I read it all in one place. It was so good cute. Let's look at, look at these pictures. It's so cute. But it's uh, about an alien who was told to come down to Earth to see what humans are like. But then he never meets any, like, humans. He meets, like, a tree and a hedgehog and an otter and a polar bear. Oh my god. A yeti sasquatch thing. But it's so cute, and it's like, more in depth than I thought it was going to be. It's like, there's like self-help kind of things, where I'm like, yeah, I need to start doing that a little more. Like, a little, not be so harsh on myself. But it was so cute, I gave it five stars. I kind of, this is a library book, so I kind of want to purchase it for my own collection. But, cause I will read this again, because I read it in two hours. I read a little slow. I could have finished. Most people could have finished in like an hour. But this one's about 300 pages. I think it doesn't give me the pages in here. Why am I looking in here? But, and then I moved right on to The Vile Village. I actually used an audiobook for this. It was about four hours long. And I read it at about 1.35, 1.5 speed. And it was really good. And I kind of want to move on to the next one. I already have the audiobook at the library for it. Sorry, my cat is wanting to visit. Come here, Yoda. Come here. Let's show you two of you. This is my kitty. <laughs> Her name is Yoda. She's six, I think. Six, seven. She's my baby. <laughs> yes! Here you! Can I let you down? Yeah, okay. Anyways. So I think I'm gonna move on to the next book. I have all the books physically, but the audiobooks are so good. I love the narrator of it. They use different voices. I think it's the same person, but different tones and accents and stuff are like Olaf. Olaf? Yeah. I just thought I was saying the wrong character. I thought I was saying, like, Olaf from, like, Frozen. But no. Bad guys in here is Olaf. And it ended on a cliffhanger, like usual. But it's really good. I want to continue on. I did watch the, the Netflix series. And I liked it. And I realized how close it was to the books. So I stopped watching so I could read the books. But lots of fun. Most likely we'll read this in audiobook form to and from work today. I gotta go to the library after work too to pick up another book. But, and I did start to read this. I read like two pages, but I was in the car so I was starting to not feel good. But I don't really care if I read these all in one place now because I read that one in the same place. I read both of these in the... The first two books, I read both in bed before my husband woke up. It was a good day. Uh, so today, I plan on reading The Hostile Hospital. Hostile Hospital. I can never remember the names of these. Uh, what? Her, cat. Oh. And then I hope to read some of this one today, too. Because these are so much fun. So, I actually decided I'm going to sit down before work and read a little bit more of Catstreon's Mission to Mars. Race to Mars. It's a lot of fun, so. Yeah. <laughs>
because she didn't want to stay outside. But I decided to come outside since my family's home and I don't really have a place that I want to vlog yet. Oh, get a nice pretty tree. But I'm just going to update you for today because I should be getting ready for bed soon because I got to get up really early tomorrow morning. I leave the house at 6 o'clock and won't be back till like 1 o'clock. So let me show you. Alright, so I haven't done a lot of writing since I got home from work because I'm tired, but I have read about four chapters in the hostile hospital. Let me see how many pages it is. So I've read about 55 news pages in the hostile hospital. It's pretty good so far. I kind of know some of the story, obviously, because I've seen the Netflix show, but... I am probably going to move on to Catstronauts, the third one. Space Station Situation. It's, these are so cute. I love them. Alright, hi guys. I tried to record this clip yesterday and I just didn't like how it turned out. So I'm doing it now. Oh, no. Uh, so yesterday, the third day, I finished Hostile Hospital by the mini Snicket pretty good, just like the rest of them. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break with a series of unfortunate events. I don't like reading too many of them back to back at a time. Just not my thing. Uh, and then I finished Catstronaut's space station situation. It's cute like the rest of them. I'm actually continued on to the next one. Oh. I've actually continued on to the next one, the Robot Rescue. It's so oh, it's just Robot Rescue. I'm about 50-ish mm, pages into it. It's pretty good. Uh, not as fun as the other ones, in my opinion. But I'm still enjoying it a lot. I'm also hoping to start either Radio Silence on Audiobook or Good Omens. I have a poll on Twitter about it. I'm going to look at that after I'm done doing what I'm doing today and decide on that. Um... And I'll check in later, see if I got any further in my book. Uh, I'm going to one of the read-ins today in my community for the readathon. I'm excited. I hope to vlog there. I'll ask them before I do so, of course. But I'll see you later. So, I haven't updated you since yesterday morning. <laughs> but I went to a read-in in Arizona. It was a lot of fun. Made some friends started a book club. It was great. I was going to continue casting out at the read-in, but we ended up talking literally the whole time. It was great. I loved it. You should go check out my Twitter because I posted a few photos from it. I'll leave that below. Don't worry. So when I got home, I did start Radio Silence. I have it there. I'm like 30% done. I actually used the audiobook for I'm using this to keep track of where I am in it. But it's so good so far. It's exactly what I needed. British. Need I say more? I may be close to seven books. Because this is number six. Oh, this is number six. And this will be number seven. So I'll get to seven books. I'm just trying to hit all the chapters. And yes, I am doubling up because I don't have that much time to do one for each. Leftover chicken wings can be breakfast, right? So it's been a couple hours and I have finished Catstronaut's Robot Rescue. Um, this is the fourth and the latest book that is out in this series. The next one does not come out till next month. Um, which I'm sad. I really want to read more, but, uh, and currently I am just watching booktube videos because I got work in a little bit, uh, but I'll be reading Radio Silence on my way to work, so, let's see how that goes. I got a work function later, but it's like end of the year party kind of thing at like a big, like, entertainment place where they have video games and laser tag and bowling and it's a lot of fun. It's our end of the year 
think I might try to take a video there, maybe. I don't know. That's what I got so far. Finish this. It's a book, and it's done. Um, we'll see how much more I get done today. All right, I just made it to work. Uh, I listened to Radio Science all the way here. I guess I should talk about it a little bit. I'm feeling about it. I'm not really a romancy person. I don't really enjoy romance in books that much. But this one is really cute. And I'm kind of changing my mind about it a little bit. Not to where I'll read a full romance book. But this is cute. And it's taking me back to like high school. Middle school. Not, not middle school. High school when I was obsessed with uh, Tumblr and looking at fan art on Tumblr. Um, and I actually listen to a lot of podcasts now. So it's like a mix of like high school me and me, me, or me, me, now me, and it's, it's weird, but I like it, and they're British, which I have a weird fascination with people with British accents, don't know, I just always have, um, probably should get going and I don't want to be too late, but yeah, I'll talk to you later. to you a few days after the readathon has ended. I just forgot to film this wrap-up clip. This is Yoda. You saw her at the beginning or towards the beginning of the video. She's my little reading buddy. I think she wants to go though. Let's see. Yeah, I thought so. She's still here though. You just can't see her, I promise. Right there. All right, so I'm going to wrap up, tell you what I thought of the books, what I would rate them, and whatnot. So on the first day, I read two books. Everyone's an Alien, When You're an Alien 2, and The Vile Village. So this counted for a few different challenges. One for a non-human main character, five words or more in the title, and also an author's debut novel. And I technically did read it in one place. So that's a lot of challenges all in one. So there's that for you. Oh, I gave it five stars. It was adorable, cute, and had a deeper meaning in it that I really appreciated. And then we have The Vile Village by Lemony Snicket. Um, this was a continuation of a series I started. This is a book I meant to read last year. And it could also be counted for a uh, book to TV show adaptation. I gave this a four star. I've given most of these four stars. I like them. They're pretty good. I just can only read a couple of them at a time because they're kind of depressing. They're, they're supposed to be. It's a series of unfortunate events, not happy-go-lucky tales. Like, uh, I read Cat Stronauts. I can't remember if I read this on the first or second day. I could have read it on the first day. I could have completed three books in one day. Not ever sent you. But this is actually the second in a series. And it's really cute. It's about cat astronauts. So the whole world, instead of humans, they're cats. So everything has cat puns and it's adorable. I gave this five stars. Because it's a cute fun story. Can't really take it too seriously because it is a kid's graphic novel, but the art in it, I love the art. It's fun and whimsical. Really cute. And then I read The Hostile Hospital by Lemony Snicket. I also gave this four stars. And I, this wasn't on my TBR originally, but I just kind of want to continue because it they usually end in a cliffhanger, so I wanted to move on to the next one. And I actually watched Vile Village and part of the Hostile Hospital. I kind of fell asleep in the second episode, but because each of these has two episodes. So I tried, but I did watch one at least. So, And this was also a book I meant to read last year. I meant to finish the series last year before the second season came out, but 
it happens. And then, of course, I read Capstronauts, number three. This one's the base station situation. They get, like, they have to fix the space station, which is called Hubba Bub, not space station. They have to fix the satellite from the space station. And the satellite is called Hubba Bubba. It's adorable. I love it. Five stars. And then, you're probably not surprised, Castronauts, number four. Right? Yeah, four. Uh, and this one, their, their robot companion gets trapped on a, one of Jupiter's moons, I believe. And there's an explosion, and then they sneak into a different space program shuttle to get there and save the robot companion. It's adorable. Seriously, five stars. And then I read, so that was, I, that was the sixth day that I read this. So on the seventh day, I didn't have anything. I didn't, I know on my TBR, I put Narnia and I just wasn't in the mood. I tried to read a page and I just wasn't into it at that moment. I didn't really feel like fantasy kind of stuff in that moment. So I picked up Radio Silence, the audiobook at my library, and I read that, and it was so good. It's about a girl who is a, so it, it takes place in England at a school, and you follow the main character who is a prefect, but she also is really obsessed with the podcast and loves to draw the characters, and you just you follow her journey through her last year in school. And it's just, it, it reminded me when I was on Tumblr, because she uses Tumblr for her art. Uh, it reminds me of when I was in high school and I used Tumblr a lot. Like, that was my main social media, was Tumblr. And it just brought back, like, my high school vibes. And it was really fun. I gave this book a 4.5 stars. And then I did start Wilder Girls because it came into my library as I was reading Radio Silence. So I started that on my Kindle because I can get digital books onto my Kindle from the library. And I'm still in the middle of it right now. I'm about halfway through. I love it so far. I never read Lord of the Flies in high school, so I'm not, I don't have anything to compare it to, but it's really good. It's getting like nitty gritty, not nitty gritty. It's getting dark, and there's some twist to it, and I'm excited to see what the twist completely is, because it's just really confusing, but in a good way, like a mystery confused. I am so excited. I also just started Carry On. That's good, too. Um, so in total, I read 800, or 1,820 pages, about... I'll put the exact number here, but yeah, I had a pretty good reading week. I'm really happy I did. I didn't do any of the video or photo challenges. This is my first readathon, and I was busy for some of the days, so I just didn't have time, or I didn't feel up to doing the video challenges, but I hope to be uploading more on this channel soon. I know I have a mermaid swimming video in the works. I got to stitch all those clips together so hopefully i can get that done i think i have a book haul coming from a sale book sale i went to so i'm excited to see where this channel goes see where see how it grows and i'll see you guys in the next one bye